There's my last footage 48 here. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Photoshop for beginners. Because first of all, um, you need to have Adobe Photoshop. Um, in my tutorials, I use Adobe Photoshop SE4. Okay, so um, SE5 is coming out in 15 days, I think. Anyway, first of all, what you want to do is just um, create a new document by going to Fold New or Apple Key and M. Uh, you can change the width and height of this. To make a square image, you need to um, have the same width and height. Okay, so um, what you can do is you can um, use millimeters. So in this example, I'm going to be using 100 milliliters, millimeters, sorry, uh, which is um, 10 centimeters. Uh, so, um, best if you keep the background contents and transparent. Okay, just press OK now. Uh, and um, you can um, just use a, a brush by um, clicking the paintbrush tool over here. To undo, you need to click um, Edit and step backwards, or um, Option, Apple key and Z. If you just do um, undo something, then you can only undo it once. Okay, um, if you hold um, one of these tools for several seconds, then um, if you let go of the, of the mouse and another tool, then you can use another tool. For example, the brush tool um, is a lot different from the pencil tool. So this is the brush tool. Okay, you can change the brush brush size over here. So if I want the master diameter to be 166 pixels, um, then you just need to change it to that. Okay, so um, you can create gradients over here. Uh, you can um, edit them by clicking color stops and clicking on the color and changing it. Uh, you can make some cool gradients here. Uh, you can make text, um, and there is a blur tool also. Okay, so if I uh, make some text, which is hello, uh, if I click the rubber tool and click over here, then it will um, become rasterized. So basically, you cannot edit it, but you can use more tools. Uh, you can click on um, different things here to change what the text looks like. Okay, you can make um, in Adobe Photoshop SE4. Uh, you can now make 3D layers. Okay, so you just need to go to um, New Shape from Layer. Uh, and so, um, first of all, if you do anything in Adobe Photoshop, it's best to create a new layer for each different object that you make. Uh, so if, now, if you go to 3D, New Shape from Layer, and you cl uh, you can create something like cube cones. For this example, we'll make a soda can. Okay, you can rotate this. Uh, you can rotate just one one side by clicking this tool here. So, um, if you click this tool, then you can rotate it completely. So, for example, you can click this tool, and, um, it will. What should happen is, if we click this tool, then it should change this tool. But um, I think it just resets the view. You can change the um, position, uh, so it can be top, right, left, and um, you can transform an object by pressing Apple key and T, um, but you need to make um, a new layer and create a new object to do that, so just create a new layer and create a box, or rectangle. Okay, so this will make a fill, but if you want to ch um, take away the fill, just use a rectangular marquee tool, and um, just drag this here. Or you can change the stroke, but um, that's a bit hard to do, um, because some sometimes, for example, if you erase, then it won't work. So this tool, you just draw several lines, and it will make it into a square for you. Okay, just press enter and you can delete it now. Uh, but um, I think sometimes it's a bit glitchy. Anyway, um, 
Throw the shotgun crash and stuff quite easily because um, uh, I think it's just quite glitchy and maybe it isn't so well coded or something, which is quite weird because um, it costs quite a lot of money. So um, Adobe was probably um, spent a lot of money on coding, but basically even Mac OS X could crash. So basically, almost any application could crash. Uh, you can create filters by going to filter. Um, and you can choose different categories, um, plastic wrap, it's one of my favourite filters. I'll just create a new layer and make a box again. And um, if I go to filter and plastic wrap, uh, then it will give it um, quite a cool effect. Okay, you can change the style over here. Uh, there's some cool styles, and you can make your own styles. Um, and you can double click on this icon here. Sometimes it works, so you have to right click and click on blending options. Uh, you can click on outer glow. Uh, this will give it um, uh, this um, glow thing. So basically, it um, has this glow out of it. And so um, you can change quite a lot of options. Um, you can create an inner glow, inner glow. So basically, this makes it look kind of three D, three D. And then stroke, um, you can change the uh, uh, fill color of things. Um. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, please subscribe, um, rate, and comment this video, and. Uh, check out my other videos and tutorials. Um, just post a comment on this video if you want me to make um, any Adobe Photoshop tutorials.